Welcome back YouTube. If you're new here, my name is Alice and my channel is all about living a healthy and sustainable lower carb lifestyle. In today's video, we're going to be making my Greek inspired slow roasted lamb shanks. This is a perfect keto carnivore dinner. Lamb shanks are a fatty cut of muscle meat and when slow roasted, it comes out tender and fall off the bone. I'll also be showing you how I make my homemade tzatziki sauce, which is completely optional. It is more of a keto dip, but if you can tolerate the ingredients, I highly recommend it because it really, really complements the meat. So let's get cooking. The first step is to preheat your oven to 450 degrees. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to brown the meat before I slow roast it. Now I have three and a half pounds of lamb shank today. If you're trying to decide how to portion this out, it's about one lamb shank per person. So for my husband and I, this will be enough for dinner tonight and dinner tomorrow. The first thing I'm going to do is just that is I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do is season. The first thing I'm going to do is just season the lamb shanks. I have some salt here. For about four lamb shanks, I would say maybe a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons. Again, you can always adjust based on your own taste. I really like lamb as a protein source because here in Canada, most of the lamb that is available to us is grass fed from New Zealand. So it does tend to be a little bit cleaner than the beef that's available to us. I'm gonna do about one teaspoon of garlic powder. This is also a relatively inexpensive cut of meat. These shanks were about $9.99 a pound compared to grass fed ribeyes, which are anywhere from 20 to $30 a pound here in Canada. But these lamb shanks are an excellent way to get a variety of high quality meat at an excellent price. Next, I have some onion powder here. Let's say about a teaspoon for both sides. Now I know I mentioned that these lamb shanks are gonna be made Greek style. So I'm gonna start off with just these three seasonings. And then once my lamb shanks are done browning, I'm gonna add the actual Greek seasonings after. I have a nine by 13 roasting pan here that I've just lined down with some aluminum foil. And I'm just gonna take some whole cloves of garlic and toss it onto the bottom of the pan. This just helps with the flavor. Garlic and lamb are very complimentary. And I'm just going to lay down these shanks right on top of the garlic. Now this is going to go into my 450 degree oven for 30 minutes and you want that nice brown color on top. Now you can sear this on your stove top, but I find that it gets really messy and the oil kind of splatters everywhere. So it is a little bit easier to just do it in the oven. Just make sure you do it uncovered. So next I'm gonna start on my tzatziki sauce. The sauce does need to sit in their fridge for a couple hours to settle. So I recommend starting it as soon as you've gotten your meat going. First, I'm gonna prep my cucumber. I have a whole English cucumber here that I'm going to use with two cups of Greek yogurt. So the first thing you're gonna do is just peel the cucumber. This is optional, you can leave the skin on, but I find that it tastes a little bit better with the skin off because the skin does give it a bit of a texture. I'm gonna chop this cucumber in half so it's a little bit easier to shred. Now I'm just gonna shred this cucumber down. Homemade tzatziki sauce is to die for. I promise once you've tried this homemade sauce, you will not go back to store-bought tzatziki. Now we don't want our tzatziki sauce to be watery, so what I'm gonna do is add about half a teaspoon of salt directly to the cucumbers, and this will help draw out the water, and then we can squeeze it out later. Give that a little mix. And let that sit aside for about 10, 15 minutes, or until most of the water has been separated. So I'm gonna use about two cups of Greek yogurt today. You do want the high fat Greek yogurt and you want it to be nice and thick because that's what gives the tzatziki a great texture. I'm just gonna eyeball this. This is a really flexible dip. There's pretty much no way you can mess it up. The ingredients can always be adjusted according to taste. Now, Okay, so my lamb shanks are in my 450 degree oven. To this Greek yogurt, I'm going to crush two cloves of garlic. I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice, maybe about a tablespoon. So after about 10 minutes, you can see here that the water has come out of the cucumber. So what I'm gonna do is just use a paper towel or you can use a cheesecloth to strain out all of the water. And we don't want our tzatziki sauce to be watery at all. So make sure you really, really squeeze out all the water that's in the cucumber. For a whole English cucumber, that's quite a bit of water, almost a cup, if not more. Now I'm gonna put the cucumber into the yogurt. 
Give that a nice mix. Now the last step is just a little bit of fresh dill. You can also use parsley. I'm gonna take a couple of sprigs. You don't need the stems. Just give that a nice chop. I would say this is about one tablespoon. Give that a mix. Now you can give this a taste test and just see whether you need to adjust any of your seasonings. This is really good. This is gonna go into the fridge for a couple of hours just for it to settle and for all the flavors to come together. By the time your lamb is done, the sauce will be ready. Okay, so my lamb shanks have been in the oven for 30 minutes at 450 and they developed a nice golden brown crust, which is exactly what we want. The garlic has also started to roast a little bit, so the flavors are really starting to come through. Now the next step is just to add a lemon and oil rub directly to the meat. If you're a strict carnivore and you're not eating any herbs, I still recommend following my cooking process and just experimenting with the seasonings yourself. But what I have here is about three to four tablespoons of beef tallow. Now this was an amazing find for us. We had to go to a local butcher because our grocery stores don't have tallow, but it comes in a jar like this and it's hard. And we basically just melted it down in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Now to the tallow, I'm going to add two teaspoons each of oregano and rosemary and one teaspoon of thyme. I'm using dry today, fresh definitely works as well. Give that a nice mix. And I'll also add about one tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm gonna pour about half of this onto the top, directly onto the meat. We notice that when we prepare the meat with these seasonings, we don't get that uh, lamb gaminess that can turn some people off from trying lamb. And put the rest on the other side. Just make sure you rub that all in. I forgot to mention that before I started doing this, I did crank down the oven to 300 degrees. The next step is just going to be to tent your meat tightly in foil so that we can cook it low and slow. Now it's very important that no heat escapes during this process. So you do want to make sure that you are sealing this very tightly. You may even want to use a double layer of aluminum foil just to be safe. Now my meat is gonna go back into the oven for three hours or until it's completely tender and the meat is fall off the bone. Okay, it's been three hours. Let's check on our lamb shanks. Take one of these and put it onto my plate. So the shanks are incredibly tender. I can tell just by looking at them that they're just about to fall right off the bone, uh, which is perfect, exactly what we're looking for. You do want to be careful when you're actually transporting them because they're so tender that if you use tongs, they can break apart very easily. But let's dig right into this piece and see just how tender it is. Oh yeah, look at that, right off the bone. Oh my God, you can see all that fat and collagen. Oh, this is the good stuff. This is exactly what we want. It smells amazing. It's so soft, so tender. It's not a very technical recipe, so it doesn't require any carving or cutting. And you can see here that the bone came very clean with very little effort from my fork. It's time for the taste test. Just gonna grab a little bit of my tzatziki sauce, which has been in the fridge for a few hours now. Put that right on the side. Just gonna dig in. Some of the meat on the bottom actually caramelized, so it's like really sticky in a good way. Look at this bite. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that was so tender. That just melted. It's so soft and tender. It doesn't require any chewing. This is amazing. Mm. It's got a nice bite of fat there which is amazing. The tzatziki sauce really brings the lamb to life. I think it makes the flavors a lot more complex and just tasty and flavorful. They really complement each other. However, if you are strict carnivore, you may wanna do just plain Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is an animal-based product, so it is a carnivore friendly, or you can do sour cream as well, which would give that similar tartness effect. You can also just eat it plain. That's totally fine as well. This recipe is actually perfect to serve a large crowd because it's inexpensive and it's not that complicated to make. If you liked my video today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and helps our channel grow. Leave me a comment down below on whether you eat lamb on your keto or carnivore diet and how you like to cook it. Until next time.